Hey everybody, it's me again, Chris Purdom over at Commerce Bank. And hopefully you were able to take some lessons from our last time together where we talked about earning money and then the choices that we have to make and how we use that money. And you were able to think about um, maybe how you want to spend it a little bit differently. Maybe save some and, and maybe decide to give some away by donating it. And by talking to your classmates, your friends, and maybe even your family members as well about some of the lessons that you learned. Today, during our second session, we're going to talk about technology and invisible money, the ways that we spend it. A lot of times, it's done through one of these. It's a credit card. Not as many checks or cash used. I'm recording on my phone, um, so I can't show you the phone, um, but we use those and payment apps um, to pay as well. You know, one of the best memories that I had as a kid was uh, when I first started to earn money, I actually delivered newspapers and uh, in my in my hometown, and I remember being able to do that and uh, earn money working at those for those paper routes. And when I could actually buy presents, it's Christmas time now, buy presents for my friends and and family with my money that I earned. That was very rewarding, and there's just something about that. It's not having to use uh, my parents' money uh, to be able to do that. So. Um, as you go through today's lesson and with your teacher there in the classroom, I want you to think about the different ways that we can pay and um, ways, again, choices that you make about, about how you're using that money. Sometimes it's a little harder to keep track of when you use one of these, um, so you have to be pretty disciplined to do that. But um, again, ask questions. If there's something you don't know, be sure to listen carefully, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thanks.